are at Gardenville.tv. We're here with Roseanne Stevens, who's a whole food chef and broadcaster. Hello, Roseanne. Hi there. Well, you're, you're, we're with you in, in the Glenis Garden here, and you're going to show us some cooking skills that you've got. Just doing some very simple barbecue recipes for Bloom um, over the five days. We've got a full compilation of them, but for the festival, what we're doing is grilled barbecue pineapple with a chocolate chili sauce and minty creme fraiche. Now, chocolate chili sauce, chili with chocolate. It's fabulous. It is absolutely fabulous. It's South American inspiration. Um, because in South America, you've got this lovely sauce that's even served with meat called a mole. Because cocoa itself isn't sweet. So um, the chili and the cocoa go really well together. It's just a gentle heat. I mean, it's not you know scorching the hot chili we're using. No, but how interesting and different for us. So what are we doing here? Okay, well this is my bowl that's been going for the last few hours. It's over a pan of simmering water. Now this is the best way to melt chocolate. Not in a microwave. Um, and not directly into the pot, always a steel or glass bowl of a pan of simmering water. And we are using fresh, raw red chilies, so they haven't been cooked yet. And these are the guys that I tend to use. These are Serrano chilies, finger length chilies, they're not that hot. So we've taken all the seeds out, as you can see, very finely chopped them. You might consider doing this in a food processor um, if you're a bit nervous of the sort of the heat of them. Now, because they're raw, what we want to do is just cook them in a little nub of butter. Now, it's fabulous that I have this bespoke barbecue built for me by Anne Hamilton, whose garden this is. She even did it according to my height, so that it wouldn't be too low for me and it wouldn't be too high for me. But a woman would think of those things, wouldn't they? I was just about to say, absolutely. I got this email saying, how tall are you? And I thought, what on earth is that about? (laughs) What am I being fitted for? It's like, no, the height of the barbecue. It's like, brilliant. So clever. And making the whole cooking experience then an awful lot easier for you. Absolutely. And I mean, just the design of this is brilliant because it's a gas barbecue that sits underneath here. And this is the lid that slides over. So it's a multi-purpose sort of area in your garden. So it can double up as a bar. You can put some bar stools around it. So I think it's, it's a wonderful way to integrate your garden space as another almost living room. Yeah, and all your friends can sit around the the area here as you're cooking away and And doing beavering and producing (laughs) something really yummy. And they can all have a glass of wine and let you do the hard work. Well, hopefully get you a glass of wine too. (laughs) So my butter's melted. A heap teaspoon of red chilli going in there. So I mean, I've still got the leftover chocolate in there from the previous batch. We're doing vats and vats of chocolate. So what you want to do is just cook off the chilli in the butter until it softens up a bit. You don't want the raw chilli going in there. Okay. So, and this is what makes the chili flavor really integrate into the sauce. It's cooking it at this point. Otherwise, you'll just get bursts of heat and you don't want that. Okay, so the chili is going in with the melted chocolate there. And the Absolutely so, delicious. Now, this then is about a pound of dark chocolate. It needs to be 70, 75% cocoa. This is really wonderful Irish chocolate from Lear. So we made friends with them. So you're very much supporting Irish products Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Well, as, as I'm on... Um, Pat Kenny every Friday, so I spend my at least one day a week traveling to another producer or farmer and interviewing them and uh, learning from them and learning about their products. So, um, and of course, the Glynis cream goes into here too. If you want a slightly milder sauce, you can add cream. So that is melting away. We'll leave that be. And in the meantime, what we can do is pop our pineapple onto the grill. So this is an extra little grill that I lay over my barbecue. And this just prevents smaller bits of food from falling into the grill. Oh, I've, yes. I've got already a few bits of pineapple in there that are now cry- <laughs> cremated at this point. So, um, oh, you can hear that sizzle. Doesn't that sound lovely? It certainly does. Now, tell me, how long will the pineapple take to... Um, what are you doing with it here, actually? Very quick. What I'm just trying to do is give it some heat mm-hmm. and trying to get those nice grill marks on it. Oh, yeah. Because what will happen is that the natural sugars in the pineapple are going to caramelise. And you get this lovely flavour from it. Um, and the great news is this works very well with slightly underripe fruit. So you know the way you get those rock-hard mangoes? Yeah. So what you do with them is peel the outside of them and then just slice down the middle next to the pip and you'll end up with a mango cheek. That's what we call it. And put the whole mango cheek onto the barbecue. And it grills beautifully. That's a fantastic tip because you can regularly in the supermarket pick up something and you say, oh, I won't bother, that's far too hard. And pears are the same. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. What about bananas? You know the hard bananas? What I do with those, it's gorgeous. Actually, what I grew up on in South Africa, our dessert after barbecue, keep the skin on and slice it lengthways 
And so keep the, keeping the skin on, and you put the banana, the half banana, skin side down to the barbecue. And then as it's busy cooking, you sprinkle over some ground cinnamon, some sugar, and a squeeze of lemon. Mm. And if you're an adult, a splash of rum. <laughs> and the, the banana will actually cook until it's soft inside its own skin. And it's lovely. It's really good. Isn't that, where did you um, develop this wonderful um, imagination and cooking and where you got your skill well, from? Well, I was born and brought up in South Africa. Yeah. And um, I actually started off life um, doing a law degree because I had the points. I'm sure lots of kids are going through that now with their leaving certs. Yes, Got starting on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So I had the points. I was kind of bullied into that because I come from a, ca- a family of engineers and accountants. But I was obviously a bit more creative and I couldn't really deal with that. So um, I was headhunted to become a lecturer for the Cape Wine Academy because of presentation skills that I had. So I was trained according to different world cuisines. Um, so my training was quite different. I just, I didn't, do just the classic French training I did according to countries and cuisines so my inspiration comes from countries from around the world but using Irish products obviously not the pineapple though because that's definitely not grown in Ireland (laughs) Uh, but as Irish as we can get um, so it's a real it's I suppose what you call fusion cuisine you know absolutely brilliant now how are they doing there they're smelling delicious and see you've got that bit of color on Mm, them that's what you want you can Mm. smell the toastiness absolutely and um, those wonderful sugars are caramelizing so we'll just give our chocolate a bit of a a stir bit of a stir and that's that's getting there yeah the gas barbecue isn't that hot so it will just take a few minutes oops and then this we're going to serve with a minty creme fraiche so what that is, it's just a tub of Glenda's creme fraiche. Okay. And we haven't even put it into a bowl. We've just chopped up some fresh mint and stirred it directly into... Oh, delicious. Yeah, so taste oh, a bit wow. of that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely love to. And you just pop the spoon in there. Mm. And that makes a mm. lovely accompaniment. Just, it's just fresh. Um, what a great idea to add to creme fraiche. And everyone asks me, what is creme fraiche? Creme fraiche is just sour cream. Is that Do you know what? Name for it. Here am I, a mother of four children, and I've been cooking for years, and I'm asking you that question. Yeah, but it's, it's a marketing thing. Because sour cream, you know, we've had for a very long time. The creme fraiche just sounds ever so much more she-she, doesn't it? Absolutely it does. does. Yeah, yeah, definitely more interesting. So what I'm going to do is the bit of chocolate that it has been melted, I'll dish you up a little bit of it. Um, the rest of the, the bowl is still melting, but it's coming along nicely. So you want to be gentle with it because otherwise it, it curdles. Oh, right. So at this, at this point, it's still happy. It's behaving itself. It's not being moody. I'll give you a taste of this. You can see the steam rising, so we'll just let that cool down a minute. We don't want to scold our presenters. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to see that on You, you don't want to YouTube. see the microphone ending yeah, up exactly. in, in with your... <laughs> <laughs> or maybe... That would look fantastic on YouTube. That's torture. <laughs> Tell us, as you're doing that, you have your Roseanne Stevens uh, cookery school. Yes. It's my baby. It's two years old in August, the 13th of August. And um, the logo of the school is 8020, um, based on the Pareto principle in economics, but more about my philosophy of food. So the tagline is 80% whole food, 20% soul food. So the whole food part of the really healthy things, I teach a course called Green Living. That's, you know, how to make fabulous recipes from beans and lentils and unprocessed plant foods. Um, and then the 20%, the soul food, is pure evil chocolate like this. You know, don't hold back. Um, but it's that balance that I think a lot of people struggle to find. Um, so that's Well, that's of course, baby. can I just interrupt you there? You know, every woman and most men love chocolate. So, you know, that has to be part of the whole oh, cooking absolutely. experience. And the good news is that um, dark chocolate, as we all read and heard, is really good for you. And you can have up to 200 grams a week, which is two slabs. <laughs> Two slabs of lint green and black. A week. Mm. I'll have to start cut I'll have to start cutting back. <laughs> well, so carb, yes. your school is where? My school, I'm very lucky that I my school is housed in the Mille Gallery, the Mille Kitchen showrooms in City West. So I've got five thousand square feet of fabulousness. So I'm very spoiled. <laughs> and do you run many courses now throughout the year? I do. I would take a little bit of break in July and August. So um, this Thursday we've got a barbecue class. Uh, the weekend we've got a Lovely class called Cook Yourself Slim. Um, oh, yes. It would be a popular one with the, us ladies. Yeah. Very popular. 
fabulous recipes and it's a mixture between seafood and chicken but they're all family friendly because I think there's nothing worse than you feeling you have to have your own little plate of food and the family gets to eat a completely different dinner that you probably have to make too so they're very family friendly and at the end of the month we've got another green living class green the green living course has become incredibly popular I've been teaching for seven years but in the last two years the interest in healthy living and healthy lifestyles has just skyrocketed absolutely massive and it's absolutely massive I'm delighted with it so what's your contact details for the school? Yes, if you want to log into my website, it's just rosannestevens.com. So it's R-O-Z-A-N-N-E-S-T-E-V-E-N-S. Um, because apparently, if you spell my name slightly differently, you come out to a completely different website <laughs> that I have nothing to do with. <laughs> So well done. Well, we've got that Roseanne Stevens. <laughs> we have that. Listen, Roseanne Stevens, you are a whole food chef and broadcaster and I'm just about to tuck into this delicious, uh, what do you call this? This would be grilled pineapple with chocolate chilli sauce and minty creme fraiche. So all the recipes on the Glynisk website and we're handing out coupons and brochures. So please come join us at Bloom for the last two days. Many thanks, Roseanne Stevens. I'm going to tuck into this now.